Good morning, Kennelly High School. Today is Friday, April 6th. I'm Prachi Patel. And I'm Emma Marcel. Welcome to this week's episode of KTV. Today's episode will take a look at the football team's trip to the state capitol and the financial reality fair. The first annual Kinley High School Dodgeball Tournament to benefit Really for Life will take place on Friday, April 13th at 6 p.m. Teams must consist of no more than seven students or staff and be co-ed. All interested teams are asked to see Mr. Messier in room 3212 for more information. Yearbooks will continue to be on sale until Friday, April 27th. Each yearbook costs $75. Remember to order them through jostensyearbooks.com. Junior prom is tonight at Crystal Lake Country Club, starting at 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Since Friday is already a half day, students are required to stay for all classes. Stay safe and have fun. Sarah got the chance to visit the state capitol with the football team. Let's check it out. If you go to Killingly High School, you obviously know that this year's football team is a big deal. Back in 2017, the boys of Killingly High's Redmond football team went 13-0, winning the state championships. And they are a shining example of what we want our children to be when they graduate. And football has been the extension of that because it teaches all of those lessons. Last Tuesday, I was lucky enough to travel with the team to get recognized by the Connecticut Senate at the state capitol. We were able to meet with Danny Rivero, who represents parts of Killingly, Putnam, and Thompson. To you seniors, whatever you go on to, best of luck to you. If you give it as much as you gave to the football team this year, you're going to be very successful in life, and that's what it takes. They were introduced to the floor by State Senator May Flexer and received congratulations from the whole House. Um, I cannot say enough about the pride they brought to uh, Killingly and all of Northeastern Connecticut, and I'm so grateful that we had the opportunity to honor them here today in the State Senate. VP was even granted an award for battling and winning in the fight against cancer. Congratulations, guys. For KTV, I'm Sarah Sheehan reporting. Now let's throw it over to Alyssa for headlines. Thanks, Prachi. A potential treatment for a common form of autism is on its way to human trials after being proven successful in mice. The genetic form of autism affects around 1 in 5,000 people. The new drug is meant to improve mental development, memory function, and social behavior. It is said that the treatment could also be used on Alzheimer's patients. On headlines before, we've talked about the change in the uses of plastic utilities. Today, we learned that McDonald's is joining the ranks of those who have given up their plastic straws in restaurants. Starting in May, McDonald's will bring in paper straws to the 1,300 pilot restaurants in the UK. In a little bit more local news, New Jersey is giving away 90,000 tree seedlings in honor of trees lost in Superstorm Sandy. More than 30 species of trees have been included in the program. Thanks for tuning in to this week's headlines. Back to Emma in the studio. When we come back, we'll take a look at the reality fair. KTV is brought to you by Wyndham Container, Connecticut Tool, Renee's Working Girl Catering, and Brooklyn Country View Catering. Thank you. Last week, Killingly High School students attended the 2018 Reality Fair. Kayla and Gabby got the inside scoop. Killingly High School hosted an annual reality fair this year. Numerous schools, including Plainfield and Putnam, attended this event to learn financial skills that will benefit them in the near future. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. Um, just going off of like the credit card and those payments and how, how we have to calculate them and how we have to budget and everything, I think I definitely have a better idea financially of what I'm going to have to do. 
Business teacher Mr. Neal believes the reality fair is a good opportunity for students to understand the real life cost of daily living. I think it's our connection with uh, Charter Oak, the Federal Credit Union, and our relationship with them. And for our students, it's a great opportunity to learn what it's going to cost in, you know, quote unquote, real life in the future. A reality fair advisor feels that it teaches students how to budget their life after high school. Reality fair is um, just an opportunity to get students um, a real life picture at budgeting and expenses and you know what happens after you graduate school. We hope students took this great opportunity to learn about real life expenses. From KTV, I'm Gabby Moore. On Wednesday, the collegiate signing took place in the KHS library where two of our students, Spencer Lockwood and Hunter Yurowski, committed to their schools. All right, good afternoon, everybody, and um, welcome to this nice Tuesday. We're very excited um, for Spencer Lockwood, but today he's going to announce his plans for the next four years. Academically, Trinity is considered one of the finest institutions, not only in New England, but the United States. From a small to medium-sized school in Northeast, Northeast Connecticut, the quiet corner, you have made our region very proud. All the support from everyone, the coaches, um, the staff in the school, teachers, uh, it's just been outstanding and uh, I couldn't be more proud to be going to Trinity. It's a great, great program, great team, great coaches and um, I'm excited to just keep it going. We know whatever you do, you're going to do well and uh, we're excited about that. Uh, Coach, do you have anything you want to say about Hunter? No, it's been a pleasure to work with you for the last five years, not just coaching here, it's also working at the AEU program, and uh, good luck, and I'm sure you'll do well next year. That's all we have for you on this week's episode of KTV. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and other social media pages. Have a great weekend, Kenley High.